Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Villa on Tour and welcome to the Netherlands. So you might be thinking, Max, you're in the wrong location. You'd be spot on. So this morning, we were in a very misty Eindhoven. We flew in last night. It was the cheapest way to do it. That's why we did it. I see a lot of Villa fans last night in Amsterdam. The atmosphere looks very, very good. It's about nine o'clock at the moment. We're about to get a train from Eindhoven Central all the way to Alkmaar. It's about two hours. And then around midday, we'll arrive in Alkmaar. Match day, buzzing. Good morning. Good morning. Our second European trip. We are right in Eindhoven. Misty this morning, a bit cold. It is, a little bit chilly. The winter is on the way, isn't it? How buzzing are we then? Alkmaar this afternoon, second European game, uh, second away European game. Big game as well, isn't it? Yeah, it is a big game. And it's like we were saying yesterday, weren't we? It's, it's felt like our start's been a little bit, I don't know, it's been Stunted. up and down. It's a bit, bit, yeah, a bit stuttery, isn't it? So yeah. We're looking forward to go strong tonight. Looking to get the three points, come back to Villa Park. We face these again in a couple of weeks' yeah. time. It'd be great if we get the win today, wouldn't it? Absolutely massive, yeah. Like I said, train station, I think just over here. Let's get to Alkmaar. One thing about the Netherlands is, we've already noticed it walking around this morning. So many bikes. This is a central station here. Look at all the bikes, Maz. We are officially in Alkmaar. Um, there's been a lot of disruption this morning. I know a load of people flying from the UK this morning. Their flights have been delayed because of the mist and stuff. I don't know if you would have seen it on the video, but this morning the mist was crazy. Like, I've never seen anything like it. It seems to be okay now. So hopefully all the Villa fans that are traveling out this morning managed to make it. That's nice. I don't know if you can read that, but it says welcome AV, meeting point this way. And um, there's like a fan zone, I think, that's going on today. So it'd be quite cool to check that out. So we're just walking from the train station to our hotel. I think it's about 15, 20 minute walk. So we'll try and drop the bags off. And then we'll head back to the uh, meeting zone. It's nice, Alkmaar, from what we've seen so far. Nice place, isn't it? Yeah, it's nice. It's like proper, proper European away day vibes. This is like a really sort of small town, like a yeah, yeah, like a really like, sort of quirky little town. It's really nice from what I've seen. Yeah, yeah. Really out, nice. out of the city, out of Eindhoven, went through Amsterdam as well. Definitely not a big city. This, I think, the population of Alkmaar is like just over a hundred thousand. So it's a pretty, pretty small town. Really quiet so far. Firstly, I just want to mention if you don't listen to our podcast, if you don't know about our podcast, please go and check that out. There's a link in the description. It's on Apple Podcast, Spotify, whatever. Me and Simon every week will discuss everything that's been going on with Aston Villa and all. All the games and stuff like that but if you do tune into that you'd know that we'd booked a boat like hotel thing to stay on in Amsterdam after the game we're not doing that anymore because we thought it'd be a little bit easier to actually stay in Alkmaar after the game rather than trying to get back to Amsterdam so as you can probably tell it's a little bit scenic we are staying in the hotel used to be a prison so uh this will be something different i think you can kind of tell this used to be a prison by the location as well like out of the way of the town sort of like in the middle of like loads of forestry and stuff like that i've seen pictures of the inside as well be interesting to see if it looks like that like obviously when you're there in real life hey buddy hello oh i like him hey boy <laughs> Just saying, this is one of the nicest hotel rooms we've stayed in. Like, this is proper nice. Please don't think like we're loaded as well. I think this cost about 80 quid for the night. Not too bad. I mean, compared to the accommodation we stayed in in Poland, it's maybe a little bit better. The bloke in the foyer was saying that every team that RZ play stays in this hotel as well, and Villa are the only ones that aren't. Like, Legia Warsaw stays here when it all kicks off as well. They've got a signed shirt out there. But Villa are the only ones who aren't staying here, which is annoying. Imagine staying in the same hotel as the Villa team. But yeah, anyway, hotel is absolutely beautiful. We'll probably just chill here for a little bit. There's a really nice bar out there. There as well, and then we'll head into the city. Whoa, proper shouting. Is that like up the villa or something? Yeah, love it. <laughs> Right, so we've just had a bit of food. Uh, the time now, I think, is about half past one, right in the centre of Alkmaar. It's a bit busy here. The fan uh, zone is literally just down there. We're going to head there in a minute. There's already a few Villa fans there. Oh, and just before we head to the fan zone, elephant in the room. Yes, me and Simon are in the same coast. Um, we yeah, didn't... We didn't coordinate this very well. <laughs> no, really, really. no, this isn't on purpose. We didn't coordinate this. Um, I'm actually in the same... I've got the same jumper that Simon's got on as well, as well as the coast. Um, so normally, we actually do talk before we like go anywhere to make sure we don't wear the same stuff. Um, yeah, but not today. Here we go then, fan zone's a bit more lively now. It's decent. Where's the rest of it? Yeah, a flight with that one. Mm. 
look who I ran into. Fusion Josh, what a boy. In the home end today though, aren't you son? I am mate, I like to take it off uh, stadiums around Europe and today's the day, AZ Alkmaar getting the ground slick. Yeah, go, go and check out Josh, literally what, you were at final last night against Lazio, yeah. all over Europe, aren't yeah. you? Yeah, I'm everywhere mate. Vitesse tomorrow and then Sparta Rotterdam Saturday. So. Little Dutch tour, love it. Yeah, what, am, what do you reckon tonight then, watching the Villa for the, you watch Villa recently? Uh, Pre-season and that's about it mate. Yeah, mate. Obviously my English club's Brighton and you absolutely battered us. Brighton so. fan, what a yeah, blog. Um, yeah, that was an idea. What do you reckon today? Yeah. Villa, going to win? Depends uh, on your lineup, because I think at home, easy outcome are very strong. Yeah. It's a good start to the season. But I think you've got enough to beat him. I'm going to say 2-1, 2-1 to the Villa. Take that to that. Yeah. Just before we speak to a couple more fans on their thoughts on the game, here's a quick message from this video sponsor. Yes, this video is very kindly sponsored by the wonderful people over at AC Memento. Memento is an excellent football app that you can record and remember all of the football games or even any of the other sports and events that you go to. It covers football, NFL, NBA, literally most sports you can think of. Memento covers it. I use it myself to remember all of the Aston Villa games that I go to. My favorite thing about it is that it's fully customizable. So for example, on screen now, you'll see my mementos from the last couple of Villa games I've been to. And you'll see you can add photos on there. You can see stats from the games. You can put how you felt about the game and sort of customize it fully to you, which I think is great. You can interact and invite your friends as well. So you can see what those people are up to as well. You can even follow me and my profile. So on screen now, you'll see my profile. Feel free to drop me a follow over there to see all the football games that I get up to. And also it's free. So use that top link in the description because then Memento can see that you've come from this video. Like I said, absolutely free on iOS and Android. Go and check out Memento up the villa. Big up the Bedford Lions, big up Tony. He's not here, but he's here in spirits. Go on, Tony! Go on, Tony! Right then, we've got Sam from the Dutch Lions. What's your score prediction today, mate? 2 0 Villa. 2 0, who's gonna score? Dougie and Watkins. Douglas Louise and Watkins. Give us big up the Villa, son. Up the Villa. So, Dutch Lions, so you were saying, Jack, that you lived in King's Heath till you were what, yeah. seven and moved to the Netherlands? Yeah, I, was I love seven. that. I left uh, Birmingham. Go to the Netherlands. Love Only it. one club. Yeah. One club in Birmingham. Exactly. Villa. How many members have you got in the Dutch Lions then? We've got really like 60 people. Oh, Aston Villa are massive. Aston Villa is massive. What's the score prediction, Jack? What are you oh, saying, son? It's going to be close, but we're going to win 3 2. Oh, love it. Up the Villa, man. Up the Villa, mate. <laughs> Josh, Alkmaar away. What's your score prediction, son? I reckon Villa are going to win 2-1. Two, 2-1, one. Two, one. who's going to score? Watkins, Bryce. Oh, I love it, son. Up the Villa! Up the Villa. The seat numbers here 24, 33, 31, 12. What do you mean 12? We're in then. Welcome to RZ Alkmaar. We're an hour and a half before kickoff. We thought we'd get in here early. Pre match atmosphere at that square in the middle of Alkmaar. Absolutely unbelievable. Villa fans are class. That is why we do it. Like the atmosphere, the chanting, the drinking, it was just absolutely unbelievable. So, so good. We've still got half an hour till Team News. So we'll probably catch up when Team News comes up. But initially, got a win today for me. People are saying, take a draw. I don't know. I, I think I said to you the other day that I think the next the next two games tonight and then the return fixture against uh, huge Altmar is are, are the two really big games. I think if Villa can get a win tonight, I think that it sort of puts you in pole position to sort of probably win the group. If I'm being honest, and that that's why it makes it a big game, and that's why I'm hoping that he does go strong tonight. Yeah. I think tonight's probably the most important one out of, out of out of what we've got. If I'm being honest. 
Elliot, Hello. we're in some. What do you make of this? Our oh, Zed's ground, what do you reckon? It's decent, to be fair. I quite like it. I like how it's all open, and I think yeah. it's going to be a good atmosphere tonight. I really what do you reckon? Do. I mean, Team News, like we said, isn't quite out yet, but got to win tonight. We don't know. I think, obviously, before the Team News is announced, I think Unai's going to go strong tonight. Hope and I'm so. saying a 2 1. 2 1. Um, got think, to win tonight, We've son. got to. Otherwise, I think it's just going to make our lives really difficult for the rest of the group because we've still got to play these, and obviously, Warsaw and Mustard yeah. are away. It's
Christian Christopher Kingshot. What a fame, what a night. So what a night. What a night. Ladies and watching Christopher Kingshot. What a fame, what a night. How good to the villa. How good to the villa. That's what we needed, isn't it? Two quick early goals. Telemans and Bailey, two players who are coming into the side tonight. Quality that first half. They haven't had a slip, have they, I said? Nah, professional, really professional. Very good at the bat. The offside shot working perfectly. Yeah, yeah. Midfield working well. I mean, he was great for the, the Telemans goal. Great strike for Bailey as well. Yeah, it's well, been, yeah. It's been a really, really good half. Really professional half. Exactly what we needed. How good is this away end, by the way? Absolutely bouncing constantly. The noise. Yeah. Unbelievable. Yeah, like you know, like English fans get a bad rap for some reason at times, but Villa fans been absolutely incredible today, and this away end tonight, absolutely bouncing. So Lord. good, one of the best away I've ever been on. Class. Come on, then, you Villa boys. Four minutes out of done. We've controlled this, absolutely controlled this. Four minutes to go. Class that is. What a win that is. Huge. Yeah. What a win that is. Absolutely massive for the group. Yeah, top week, controlled performance all night. Really, really good win that is. Like, puts us in command now, doesn't it? Group, absolutely. That's exactly what you want. Yeah, huge win. Bailey, Telemans, all the boys coming in tonight, absolutely smashed it. What a performance, what an away end as well. The, the atmosphere today, absolutely electric the whole day, even in the city today. Unbelievable. I love Villa. I love following Villa in Europe. This is class. <laughs> Top class, Villa. Top class. How 
good was that then? Absolutely unbelievable night in Alkmaar. 4 1 to Villa, the second 4 1 win in a row, obviously coming off West Ham on Sunday as well. That was unbelievable. Like, that was one of my favourite away ends I've ever been in. Me and Cy were staying at, saying at the start of the video that we needed that something to like kickstart our European adventure into life. That was it tonight. Unbelievable. That away end. Absolutely bouncing non-stop all night. So, it's definitely not on a way day I will forget. A memento will help that as well. So like I was saying earlier, you can see my profile on the screen at the moment and my memento from tonight's game. Like I was saying, fully customizable. You can put your own pictures on there and everything like that, which is wicked. And there you go. Tonight's game added to my list of mementos from all the Villa games I've been to. So go and check out memento. Top link in the description. Like I said, what a night tonight. Please smash a like on the video if you have enjoyed it. And I'll see you on Sunday back at Villa Park. Up the Villa.